Hi everyone, welcome back to my craft room. If you're new to my craft room, then welcome. Happy Friday, guys. Another week down the tubes. <laughs> and, and we're ready for our Friday Dollar Tree haul. So I did get out, got some things at Dollar Tree. I only got one thing. I'm limiting myself for now because I know when Christmas comes, I'm probably going to find a lot of stuff in the plus section. But I got my one thing from the Dollar Tree plus section this week. Or this trip. I should say it's twice a week because I go... Tuesday, Fridays, so, but I'm only getting one thing because you could go broke shopping in there, but they have some really, really nice stuff. Let's go pop on here. Say hi to everybody. How's everybody doing? <laughs> um, got another Timu shirt on here. I know a lot of people comment about my watch bands because I always match them to my shirts. You know, since I've been home from the hospital, I've not been able to do a lot of stuff. Um, yeah, that's what I've been doing. Switching out my watch band every day to match my shirt, you know. Why not? And uh, I did get some more watch bands and things from Timu, too. I'll have to show you these. These actually, this one, uh, I bought a set from Amazon that fits this watch. But, eh, why not? All right, anyway, let me start out here with the Dollar Tree Plus item I got this time. I picked up this metal pumpkin steak. It was $5. I thought this was absolutely beautiful. It's going to go out on my patio. Um, it has three of these cut-out metal pumpkins. Um, I'm not sure how tall it is, but then it has these two little nice stakes on here. I love that it has two, so it, you know, it'll balance nicely. Um, and then that's just how it's kind of supported up the back with this metal bar. And then there's your hooks that go in the ground. But how nice is that? I love the color. I love this copper color. And then the leaves are so pretty. They're just, I don't know. They're just more like a coppery, like an aged copper kind of the leaf and the stems. I just thought this was absolutely gorgeous. I really would have liked to have two, but I really don't need two. So we just got one, and that was $5, and I think that was well worth it because, you know, other stores like Hobby Lobby and stuff like that for their metal things, they're crazy expensive. So I thought that was a great deal. So that is my $1 Tree Plus purchase of this trip. All right. Now, of course, we spend a lot of time in the grocery section now when I take my husband with me. So we picked up a few more things, not a lot. I did pick up two of these because I've had a hard time finding these at my grocery store. Just the regular cheeseburger, macaroni, hamburger helper. Um, for some reason, I, this one is like the hardest one to find. I don't know if it's just always sold out or whatever, but um, this is the one that uh, the family likes the most. And I don't make these very often, but you know, when you gotta, you're busy and you just want something easy, quick to do, throw this in a pot, there you go. Um, so yeah, I got this. Got two of those just to put in my cabinet just for those nights where it's like, what's for dinner? And uh, you know, I, get, I hate that question. Every day I get that question, what's for dinner? I don't know. Today's chilly though, by the way. So <laughs> um, let's see, what else did we get in there? Oh, we picked up another one of the pizza squeeze because we really like this sauce. And this is another thing I'm having a hard time for, I want to say years, uh, finding in some of my grocery stores. Some of them carry it all the time. Some I can't find it at all. So this is a 15 ounce bottle. This stuff, oh, I love this stuff. Like if you want to make meatball sandwiches or something and just pour this on there like that, it's really, really good. So I did get another one of those put up in my cabinet too. So I like to be stocked up on stuff. And then what do we have here? Oh, these are my husband's. He likes these diced potatoes because I love mashed potatoes. He does not like mashed potatoes. So he will eat these or sometimes I'll, I, the other day I cooked up a bunch of the red potatoes and um, he'll just cut them up, but he does not like the mashed potatoes. So I got him those. He, he'll throw them on there if we're having mashed potatoes because I absolutely love them with gravy. That's what the other thing I got to have. All right, and I did get another, thank goodness, I got another one of these because I did not realize that I only had one left, and that is the gallon size bags, and I love the ones with the slider top. Um, it's usually t eight in here, but now you get 10. Um, just watch for the little bonus thing there. And um, yeah, I use these all the time for all kinds of stuff, for the bird stuff, or like when I get the big um, packs of like ground beef, and I divide it up into pounds, and then these are perfect to store them in the freezer. And then I got another one of the plastic wrap. I love this plastic wrap. I didn't try this until I think last year maybe, 
or maybe it was this year, it was the first time I ever tried their plastic wrap. I love this stuff so much better than, um, you know, like the name brand ones in the store. Um, it's easier to work with. It doesn't get all clumped up and stuck together as easy. Um, so yeah, so I've been buying this now. And this is another one that used to be, where is it? It used to be 80 feet, now you get 110. So yeah, I, I really, really, really like their, oh sorry, plastic wrap. Now is that all the food stuff that we got in here? And Nope, plates. My husband wanted these. He got these in the party section. There's 30 of these um, party plates, paper plates, the small ones, seven inch ones. He likes these to take to work, to throw in his lunchbox, takes them to work, heats stuff up in the microwave, whatever, or just make a sandwich on it or whatever you're gonna do, and then just, he doesn't have to worry about carting it home and washing it. So he got one of those, and then he also picked up the, whoops, sorry, the um, 10 count of the 20 ounce bowls. Now these were down, those were in the party section. These were actually down where they have the other paper plates and things um, down by the kitchen gadgets and all that. So what did I say was in here? 10. And they hold, they hold 20 fluid ounces. So that's another thing he wanted for work. And let's see, now I think we're done with that kind of stuff. All right. Let's see what we found in the fallish stuff. I thought these were cute, and I thought these were a great thing to have the kids do. Or somebody else says um, another thing would be like an assisted living place or something like that. Some of these cute little kits. And these are just called craft kits, and you make these little scarecrows. Let me get that part up there. Aren't they cute? They're really, really cute little scarecrows, and what a fun little activity for like kids or adults. I mean, I would like to put these together myself because <laughs> I like to do that. But I'm hoping their clothes and things, yeah, I guess it does because they put that big stamp on all these, which I don't understand why they do that. Because you know what? We know that's where we're getting it from. We know it's a green briar, briar product. It says so on the package. Do you got to stamp everything? They did that with some of the Christmas felt things and you could see through it last year. But anyway... Sorry, you get six of them in there. I get I get sidetracked real easy. Uh, six of them in there. And yeah, it's a little boy and a little girl scarecrow. So, yeah, how fun will that be? Um, let's see, I did pick up some more pumpkins. I'm like loving the little pumpkins in these different colors. I got this real pretty, um, these are like a, what are they calling a sweater pumpkin clip. They have a clip on the back there. I'll just yank those right out of there and use them for, you know, just the decorative, decorative purposes. But I love that color. Aren't they pretty? It's like almost like an olive-y. No, not really even an olive green. Yeah, maybe. But it, it, it's just, these are nice. Some of the other ones I didn't care for. These are really, really nice. Now these are burlap. You get three in there and these are just, they're called burlap pumpkin cl clips and the other ones are sweater pumpkin clips. There we go. And yeah, same thing. I will just take the clips right out of the bottom of those and they're small they're not real big you know you can tell they're just smaller pumpkins to mix in with your decor things and then I did pick up these little Halloweeny things just some little wooden things to decorate these are the boo sign now these are quite large and you get three of them in here so these would be I have an idea for some of this stuff I think it's gonna be really cool um, and this spooky with the ghost on it, you get three of those in there too. And I thought those were really nice. And I like, you know, that they're like laser cut out. So it has that nice darkened edge on everything. I think that's all I got for Halloween though, I think. Um, I got this, this could be fall all the way through here, whatever you want to make it. But look how pretty this is, this big circle, wooden circle, it's wood. It's the laser cut out wood. What are they calling this decor? Um, but it has like this wood burning, in here of the, like the branches and the leaves and then this is like a separate piece um, overlaid here this pumpkin and then you have some more of your leaves and things over there how pretty is this thing I mean you could do anything and whatever you'd want to add in here like a saying or whatever I mean just alone this will make a really nice little decoration for fall you could make it for fall you could make it for Halloween but you know however you just want to decorate it 
so I gotta think on that one and I gotta see what I have. I'd like hoping I have a nice wood piece that I can whoops, stand up there that I can put on there. Like saying. And then I picked up just a few signs here. This one I really liked. This one, um, just for fall through Thanksgiving here, I think thought would be great. Hang on. They're just calling this a wall decor, but it's a pumpkin pie, and then it has the like thankful on the bottom there on a rolling pin. I thought that one was fun. So I'm not going to do a thing to that one. I'm just going to hang this one up for fall out in my kitchen. So there we go. I like that one. Yeah, it all hangs, but it's got a nice heavy jute string hanger on it too, and a little, just a little bit of raffia. Actually, my husband picked this one out. He wanted this one because he said he needed this to hang in there by his chair where he sits because football season's coming. Um, hopefully I can get these to hang right because they're all wanting to go backwards. There we go. But it's got all those footballs on there and it just says, whoops, welcome here on the top with a little glitter because, you know, it is getting into the glitter time of year. I'm sure all the Christmas stuff will be coming out like... I don't know, probably next week, the way things are going. I know some stores have a few um, Christmas things out. Mine, not too much. I found like a thing sitting oddly here or there, but um, I'm not ready for that yet. I'm not ready for all the glitter and all the fun of those, but I do love the Christmas um, decorations and things that they come out. I can't wait to see what they have in the plus section. I really can't. And hopefully if it's anything like some of these fall things, they're really nice. But anyhow... I got that one for him. So that was his pick of signs. And then I also picked out this one. I think this one's gorgeous. This one's also going to go out in my kitchen. This one says fall breeze and autumn leaves. And look how pretty this is. And this is a really, really big sign. Um, this thing's got it. Let's see. I have no idea. This is, uh, is it like two feet? Nope, not quite. It's just an inch under two feet. So and there you go. And I love the way it's shaped. I like the arch top there. You know, it looks like an old time, um, nice old time sign. But I thought that was real pretty. That's another one that's going out in my kitchen. I'm hoping it'll fit up over above my one countertop. And I think that'll look really pretty there. So we shall see. I gotta get some more command hooks. That's what I need to look for when I go to Dollar Tree. All right, so what else do we get? This was the other little metal sign. I love their metal signs. Um, this one says, hooray for pumpkin spice. I don't like pumpkin spice at all. I know a lot of people love, love, love it, but I just love this sign, so I thought that was so pretty. With just all the little coffees on there and um, leaves and, what's that, cupcakes and donuts and pumpkins and just all kinds. Oh, there's a candle. Just all kinds of things on there. I thought that was just so pretty. So, I don't know if I'm going to keep this just to hang it or if I'm going to add this to something or make it even stand up. You know, put a couple little blocks on the back there and make it stand up. I don't know. We'll see. But it is awful darn cute. And then I picked up a couple more of these. I, they had some of these last year, but I really like the ones this year. This one says, Happy Fall, y'all. And it's just like your little travel mug there, and it's got the pumpkins on it and the jute string. And these are nice wide. They stand up on their own if you just want to put them on a shelf. Um, but I thought that one was real nice. And then I also got the Happy Pumpkin Spice Season. And I love this one. I think this one's real pretty. This one's I think, is my favorite um, out of all of them there. And again, it's just these nice wide MDF boards. So, yeah. Really nice decor they're coming out with. Here, stay back there. And these, I was so happy to see these come back because I had a really hard time the last couple of years getting my hands on these. And these are the Harvest Acorns. And I used a lot of these in different projects. And yeah, I got really sad when I couldn't find them anymore. But and there they are. And some of them I changed because some of them look like olives. They kind of look like they took some olives and... <laughs> stuck a top on them. But you can paint these if you don't like to color them at all. So I did get two packs of them. You get ten of them in each one. So I may grab another bag if I see, if they're not gone already, because that's what happened to me, I think, the one year. They were just wiped out. People just, some people just come in and buy the whole case if they want them. It's like, come on, order it online, people. Let us store people alone. 
Oh, these I got. Um, my husband wanted these to hang up some of his tools with. Try up by our carport. I'm hoping these will hold up decently for him. Um, these are garden tool hangers. I figured I'd grab these before they disappear for the season. They actually had these up front, so I think they were getting ready to either put them away or whatever they do with this stuff. I don't know if they send it back until next year. I don't know. But, um, yeah, it's just two garden tool holders. It has a place there where you can just put in just a couple of screws. Does it come with the screws? Oh, yeah, they're taped on the back. Okay. I did not see that. I was wondering how you hang them up. But, yeah, the screws to hang these are actually taped on the back here. So you don't see them. They're there. But hopefully that'll be good. It has a little hook here so you can hang things and then, like, your brooms or rakes or whatever. I'm hoping this will hold up but anyway he got two of those maybe he can get a little more organized with stuff up there like get those tools away and then I did grab a couple of these these come and go at Dollar Tree sometimes I can find these every time I go and sometimes I can't find them at all but I use these a lot in DIY projects so I figured I'm gonna grab a couple more I do have a couple put away but um yeah and these are nice, like if you're making a little something and you want to, you know, put on top of it to raise it up a little bit. These are wonderful. Or if you just need candle holders, they're, they're just really nice. So, <laughs> I figure I get a couple more of those. Like I said, sometimes they have a lot of them. Sometimes they don't have them for months. And I picked up a couple of these um, Global Beauty Care. Her, 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 oh my god. Rollick. I can't say this word today. That's another thing I'm having a hard time with sometimes is with this um, CIDP condition that I have is saying words correctly. Sometimes I'm just having a hard time getting them to come out right. Hyaluronic. I know how to say this word and it won't come out. Oh my god. It's this stuff. I know how to say it. My tongue just won't do it. This nerve condition is really bizarre. Oh, I can't say it. Hyaluronic. Okay. Well, whatever. There you go. This is it. I'll say it another day. <laughs> but this stuff, it's a mask. Um, I figured I'd tell you, my skin is so dry from all this medication. And this is a nice gel mask. So I figured I'd give that a try and see how that works on my skin here. Hyaluronic acid. Wow. I can't stand My tongue won't roll that word off of it. Crazy. Um, but yeah, it's a 1.7 ounce and it's a 15 minute facial therapy. So I figured I would give that a try. I like this brand. I've tried it before. Um, not this stuff, not the whole, I can't say it. <laughs> I thought maybe if I snuck it in there, it would roll off my tongue this time. I can't say it. That's crazy. All right. Oh, run, roll. <laughs> I gotta laugh because if not, I'm gonna cry because that's just how this stupid disease goes. One day you can do something, next day you can't. Next day you can do it again. It just depends on what it, your nerves want to do that day. Okay, this one is a gel face mask with mask applicator and vitamins A, C, and E, and it's called Rose. Thank goodness the Horonic Acid wasn't in there. Wow. I can't believe that I can't get my tongue to make that that no, that sound or whatever you want to say. I can't put those letters together to say it. Can't do it. I'm not going to do it again. I'm not going <laughs> to. You people are probably thinking, man, she's nuts. But anyway, that's so funny because any other time I could say that word. But anyway, this is another 15-minute facial therapy. And, um, yeah, I figured I'd give some of this stuff a try because, man, I'll tell you, especially my hands. And I put lotion on my hands right before we I came on here, and they are still just, if I go like this, they're okay. But, man, they are just so dry. And my arms, too, from all this medication. But, all right, anyway, that is it for this haul. I'm going to go grab little P after I get this stuff put away and bring him in for his visit, and I will be right back. All right, here is little P. Come say hi to everybody. I know. I don't know what he's scared of in here today. Maybe these new signs I got. I know there's always something new to freak you out. I did bring you a couple peanuts. He was eating some corn out there when I went out. There you go. Oh, there it is. It's all on his place stand now. But I brought you a couple peanuts. Do you want one? 
Oh my, I guess so. Um, <laughs> yay! He's like, I don't even want the peanut. I just want to destroy it. Oh my, don't want to throw it. Why are we throwing the peanuts? Yeah, you love <laughs> He is something else. That's it. All right, here's another one. So I said, he doesn't, I save those kind of treats for him when he comes in here. He doesn't get peanuts too often because they're really fatty. But he doesn't eat that much of them anyway. He just wants to rip them apart, destroy. Huh, story of your life. We see. I know, someday Mama's going to get this room organized and maybe you won't be so scared in here. I don't know, I have stuff all over the place. Just haven't been able to get in here. I did start, I actually got one of my sets of shelves all redone, organized, and then uh, that was the end of that. But maybe this week I'll get some more done. Little by little, we'll get there. I think if I just do one little stand at a time, maybe I'll get done. Because when I look at the whole picture in here, I want to just like run. Here, there's another one in there yet. You gonna help me clean up this room? We got to get organized because fall and Christmas is my most favorite time and I'm hoping we're going to be able to get some more crafting stuff done here because I really want to get to crafting. It just depends on the day. How I feel, how my hands want to shake. Hyaluronic acid. You know what? As soon as I stopped filming, I could say that word. I just want to come back on here and say it. Hyaluronic. I couldn't say it five minutes ago. Hyaluronic. So weird. Sometimes it's just very bizarre. Sometimes I just can't say things right. So if I mis mispronounce things or call them something they're not while I'm taking this medication, just don't pay any attention to me. <laughs> oh, that and the whole memory thing, forgetting thing. I asked my something. Um, I asked my something. There we go. I asked my husband something yesterday, I think three times within five minutes, and he answered me each time, but I could not for the life of me remember. Yeah, I definitely got some bad medicine head going on. I know. I think next week my dosage actually drops on these steroids to one and a half of these pills. I can't remember the milligrams because I can't remember anything. But um, I was taking three of these pills. It was a really, really high dose. And, you know, that's why my face is all blown up. It's like I don't even know who I am when I look in the mirror. They actually call it moon face, which doesn't make me feel any better, but I probably told you this last week and I don't remember. But yeah, that's what they call it, moon face. <laughs> Yay! But I'm hoping to get rid of that pretty soon because I don't like it. Hmm. Steroids, they're crazy. And they're really bad for you. So I'm hoping. We'll see what happens because they're kind of what's keeping the pain and everything under control here so we'll see yeah but so far no pain zero pain just a lot of weakness and like I said I try to get everything done around my house that I want to get done before noon because after noon it seems like that's when my legs get like dead and I can barely walk and all that fun stuff but mornings not so bad huh yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens, Pay. We're just going to keep pushing on here, Pay, because we got stuff to do. We ain't got no time for this stupid disease. Nope. <laughs> so I keep telling myself, no more. We got to keep it moving. Within limits. Taking it easy, but keeping it moving. Yes, we are. Yeah. Can we get too much stuff to do? Yeah. We got lots of big plans. Is that good? Are you enjoying that? I know I interrupted your lunch out there. I guess that's what you were having lunch. He was eating some corn out of their bowls. I cut up their fruit and corn, fruit and corn, fruit and vegetables in the morning. And uh, yeah, he was out there having his lunch, I guess. Okay, good. You like the corn? Didn't have any more pomegranates. They get hard to find this time of year, but they love pomegranate. Oh. Huh, say, I love pomegranate. But this time of year, they're hard to find. Winter time, they're nice, they're big, they're juicy. But not so much this time of year, huh? And they're expensive this time of year, too. 
Just one of those little pomegranates are like four dollars. Yeah, but you guys are spoiled, so you get one. Yeah, you do. We cut it up and make it last for almost a week, don't we? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Then with the rest of this one. Most of it's down here. We could have made peanut butter. Look at all the peanut down here. Do you eat any of it? Or do you just whoops? Do you just crunch it? I don't even know. Very little. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't have to worry about you eating too much peanuts because I could probably put all this back together and you maybe had a, a bite. Yeah, tell me everything. You tell me too much stuff. Have you been a good boy today? You have been. He's been pretty quiet. It wasn't really sunny earlier, so usually when it's cloudy, they're quiet. When it's sunny, they are super, super loud. Huh. Well, mainly you, because you just spoiled. See, I'd be quiet. You guys come pick me up and hold me and scratch my feathers all day. Huh. See, that's not too much to ask, is it? Just for some little feather scratches? Not now. Can I clean your beak off? Oh, you're such a brat. Well, you tell everybody. Huh? Well, clean your own beak down. There you go. <laughs> now you're going to pick the peanut out of your beak? Yeah. Was that a good one? It looked like a good peanut. These are all empty if you want to bust them open. And destroy. Yeah, he's been bored. Jeez, they're going all over the place. Where'd that go? I don't even know. It's gone. Wherever it went. Here, there's one more here. You want to destroy this one too? Hmm? That was cheating. You didn't do anything. No, he says there's nothing in there. I don't want it. Well, I think that's it. I think you got all your peanuts. There's not much more here. There's some little pieces. You want that? No. I can't tear that up. Oh, here, how about this one? You want this one? No. You hear the other birdies out there? That's Rosie and Cooper. Uh, what are they doing? What, do you want to go? Boy, I had a hard time with him again last time he was in here. I had to kind of sneak back here and grab it like this underneath the back and carry him out so he didn't bite me because he did not want to go. He gets nervous when he comes in here, and then it's like, okay, I'm leaving. And he's like, no, I don't want to go now. What do you think of this? Is this squirrel freak you out by any chance? What do you think of that guy? No, he doesn't scare you? Maybe a little? Not too much. He's not even making you shake. He goes, I know that's not real. I, thought maybe, I don't know. There's something in here that's making him nervous. I don't see. Oh, maybe because I have the ceiling fan on. I didn't think of that. It's the only ceiling fan we have left. Well, no, I have one in my bedroom. But in the house. We used to have them in the kitchen. We used to have them in the middle room, which is now the bird room. Um, and we got rid of them all, so none of the birds that fly would, you know, get hurt. Because they can get killed by a ceiling fan. So we got rid of all the ceiling fans out there, and I forgot I have one in here. I mean, he'll never fly up to it and get hurt because he's so lazy. <laughs> Everybody asks, is he fully flighted? Yes, he can fly. Um, he only flies when he wants to get in something into trouble. Like if he's on the... Yeah, I'm telling on you. Don't give me that evil look. If he's on his uh, little bird stand that we have out in the kitchen, if he sees something and I walk out of the room, he could fly to the kitchen table and get my phone or throw cups on the floor. <laughs> it's not funny. Um, or if... He'll be in the on the play stand that I have by the window in the kitchen because they love to sit there and look outside. But if a hawk flies by, he will take off and fly across the room. But that's it. That's the only times that he flies. He's just lazy. I'm telling him, you're lazy. I've seen you fly all the way down this hallway when something scared you. Yeah. But that's the only time he flies, if something scares him or if he wants to go get into some trouble. 
and not far. And he's not good at it because he just never has wanted to fly. So yeah, he's fully flighted. He has all his feathers. Let's show everybody your I want to show everybody your pretty feathers. Look. He's like, leave my freaking feathers alone. <laughs> Can I show everybody these? You let me scratch them. Can I scratch under them? Look, show every look, turn around here. Let me scratch under your feathers. So everybody say, see, look, I have all my pretty feathers. But I'm just lazy. Yes, all my birds are fully flighted. The only one that is not is Charlie, and that is my double yellowhead Amazon, only because he likes to dive bomb people, and he will bite. I'm the only one that can handle him or pick him up or anything. He hates everybody pretty much equally. Um, and he actually got me, the day I came home from the hospital, he got me... I don't know if it was because he was locked up in his cage the whole time I was gone. Um, if he was just overwhelmed, whatever. But I dropped a towel on the floor and it freaked him out. And he came right at my face and he got me, like, right here. He grabbed on right in the corner of my eye and right here. And, oh, man, did that bleed. And if it would have been a hair more, I wouldn't have an eye left. So... And he also got my husband's ear that one time. I had to stereo strip it together. Just something will set him off. And he freaks out. And he just he goes for the face and the head. So, that is the only reason that my Charlie boy has his wings clipped. So, he, he still can fly. He can get from, like, the window back to his cage. But when he flies, he goes on a downward... He can't, like, gain altitude when he flies. But it's just, it's either that or we would have to keep him inside of a cage all day long. So, getting his wings clipped, at least he can be out. He can be on the play stand in the window and swing on the swing and hang out on top of his cage and play with his toys. You paying attention, aren't you? And stuff like that. But, yeah, so that was the only alternative that I could think of because... Yeah, I don't like to clip their feathers because they like to fly, huh? Birdie's got to fly. But my poor Charlie boy, I love that bird. Nobody else really cares for him too much just because he doesn't like anybody else. He's just nasty to everybody. But I love him. He loves his mama. Yeah. Yes, he does. So we had to get him clipped so he could be out of his cage. Because there's no point in having a bird if you keep it in a cage all day long. Absolutely none. Except my little parakeets. They stay in the cage because they would get hurt, I think, in the house here with the other birds. Huh. I think they would. We have three parakeets. My grandson got me three parakeets a couple years ago for Christmas. You know, we better let everybody go because I've just been sitting here yakking and yakking and yakking. And you're getting sleepier and sleepier while I talk, aren't you? Yeah. Do you want to go take a nap? Oh my goodness, his eyes are like... <laughs> you had your peanut and now it's time for a nap. Alright, let's let everybody go. Because we could sit here and just chit-chat all afternoon. But we got things to do. Alright, we'll say thanks so much for watching everybody. Hope everybody has a wonderful rest of their day. And we will see you guys... Well, you'll see everybody on Friday. Um, What am I saying? Today's Friday. <laughs> We'll see everybody on Friday. You'll see everybody next Tuesday again. Because Monday I don't usually bring them in when I do my Timu hauls. It's just a lot if my husband's not here or something. But yeah, you will be in next Tuesday. Say, I will see you on Tuesday. Alright, have a great day everyone.